Campbell did a great job in commentary recently for the Australian Speedway Motorcycle Championship. Here we go, Nolts. It's the madman up against Cal. Oh, looking forward to this one. The three versus the two. Here we go, out of turn four. Green waves in the air, past the speed shot. Into one, Williamson holds back the madman. Into turn two for the first time. Avery being dragged, raced by Baroski, makes contact. They make heavy contact and they're both in the fence. And damage to that upright on the seven. Oh boy. And this is almost what we saw on the back straight at the Motorplex last week with Williamson and Abreu. Crash crew getting over to Lockie, who certainly got the car upside down big time. That SRV road haulage racing team. Rico got Danani hot shots. Danny's been a fantastic supporter of the Rico Tour over in West Australia, along with the Candelo Steel City. But Lockie upside down in that NQ7. And he is always a rocket ship in that car. Former winner of this race and a guy that has certainly knows how to dominate around here when he gets it all the way he wants it. So the accused car going back on all four wheels. Apologies to Moroski. I got my sponsors mixed up then. Last time I saw the SRV car. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's moving. Yeah, I know what you mean. Big round of applause, folks, for Lockie McHugh as he climbs out of the NQ7, the Errol Cosgrove-owned SRV. A bit of a limp there as well. He's a tough customer. And it's hit that upright as well. It's like a boomerang now in the middle of turn three and four. Rico Abreu oh, has yeah. also climbed out of the Danani Hot Shots number 24. You can see it right of screen there. Yeah, you're right. The post up right on the racetrack. It, Lockie just favouring his right, looks like his right calf there. So might have just got a knock just then as Rico climbs clear of the 24. So we can take a look at your ClayPerView.com replay here and have a look at just what happened. All the kids along the fence just there. Here's one more look at it right now, Nolts. So McHugh was racing. Abreu come in, they just climbed over each other's wheels. Boy, and that's that... a big lick. The way the car just stopped suddenly for McHugh, that's probably why he's holding his leg and walking away with a bit of a limp. Here it is from the turn three camera. So heading down the back straight, in he comes and they just climbed over the top. That's almost a carbon copy. Oh. Heading down the back straight last week at Perth between Williamson and Abreu, except they didn't roll. The way that car stopped is the... That's the bit that would have really, really rung the bell of... Lockie when it hit that upright that you just mentioned. So the car really stopped very quickly. There is the Californian walking back to the infield. So not the night he was hoping for here in the Kings Challenge. The first time in 10 years, three and four. Here's a look again. Oh, yeah. You, you would hope that the 24 car is okay. It sort of backed into the wall here. So there was the crunch, but oh, the chassis. That's what you really hope for Lockie McHugh. I know that Nick Speed and the boys will get after that and do their very best to repair that if they can. They timed well. That's why they're in the second row. Here's a super slow motion look at it. Contact getting into three. Still a lot of moisture in this track and a lot of groove in this track, Nolts. That's why you saw that, yep. that Lockie really started just vault forward. Here it is again from turn three. We can see the mark on the wall from the inside here at three. So into the turn we go and just climbed up over that left front. That's all it takes, but it was the speed the seven carried here. Hard to wash off speed in here, but watch this contact there. Oh, man. It's the sudden stop. It's on top of what was the original uprights here at Borderline Speedway in the days.